Okay, I thought I'd just do a quick video showing um, one of my favorite Android apps, Snapseed, running on a Chromebook. You can install most Android apps on a Chromebook if you want to. Now, there's some officially available ones in the Chrome Web, web Store. If you want to install ones which aren't yet available in the Chrome Web Store, you'll need to have an Android device. You'll need to install the Chrome APK Packager app, which will take any app you've got installed on your phone or tablet and package it to a zip file which you can then just send to your Google Drive and access on your um, on your Chrome device. <clears throat> You'll need to unzip the um, zip file um, and save it onto your uh, Chromebook and then you'll be able to load it in extensions. So if you click on the settings little thing which you get in more tools and go to extensions you'll need to load unpacked extensions and then you can just browse to um, the folder so if I click on load unpacked extension I've got a folder in my downloads called apps and you can see some of the ones which I've got PowerCal one of my favorite calculators easy voice recorder it's a great tool for recording your voice um, and uh, Snapseed which I've currently got installed and you just select the folder and then click on open you don't have to use the files inside it. You'll also need to have this AR Cron custom runtime 1.1 installed as well. And if you look at Google how to install um, Android apps on your Chromebook, then you'll find the uh, link to download the latest version of this. But you need to have that installed first. OK, so um, <clears throat> I've got um, Snapseed inside this folder, Photo App. So let's open up Snapseed. If you're not using Snapseed on an Android tablet, then it's really a nice, simple, intuitive um, photo editing app. And uh, it runs pretty well on Chrome OS. Um, I found a couple of things that don't quite work as you might expect, but the vast majority of things do work. Um, so I'm doing this on a pixel, which is touch screen, which also kind of helps. You can open a photo by taking a photo or choose a photo. And the nice thing here, of course, is you can just browse your drive. Um, so uh, I'll enter my Google Drive and um, let's have art photos. And um, Um, so these ones, and there's a lot in here. There's one I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, 660 is the one I want. There's some work. There we go. Let's open that one. Okay, so it's got to download it from a drive, obviously, <clears throat> to be able to work on it. Okay. So here we go. Um, and what we can do now is apply all of these various effects to it if we want to. So, um, I don't know, let's try HDR, see what that does. So, I've used this one before, but the first time you use it, you'll get some little hints and tips. And basically, if you go up and down, you can select different filters. Uh, I don't know, let's go for brightness. And then you go left and right with your finger or with a mouse. You can change the brightness. Okay, I don't really want to change that one, so I'll click on cancel. And I'll pick um, crop. So I can easily crop it. And drag that around. Maybe I just want to highlight that little bit in the middle there. Uh, there, that'll do. Okay, apply. And now we've got that little bit. And maybe I now want to. Um, let's have a look. Put a frame on it, maybe. And there's a load of frame options. I don't know, let's try that one. There we go. Apply that. 
and um, maybe I decided I wanted in black and white. So this one is one I haven't used before. Swipe up and down to select enhancements, swipe left and right to adjust enhancements. So it's pretty easy to use. So if we go up and down, I can adjust the brightness, contrast, and grain. Let's stick with brightness. A little bit brighter, or I can make it a lot darker. Or it looks like there's some presets as well. <clears throat> so oh no, I'll try that preset. There we go. Click on apply. And then I've got the option to save it, and I can save this to uh, back to my Google Drive, or I can share it on Google Plus. So um, that's uh, Snapseed. Now, bear in mind, I'm screencasting at the same time as I'm doing all of this, so uh, it's uh, probably a tiny bit of a strain on my little pixel. <laughs>